So just got my two mile warm up done and we're kick starting today with a double threshold day, which means in the morning I have five by 2K. Quick ketone IQ shop, let me talk you through the week so far. So this section will be nice and easy because it's Tuesday. So the only thing I've done so far this week is a nice 60 minute easy run on Monday. So that was good yesterday, basically. Felt good, um, felt ready to start the week. I had a really late night last night, went to a concert, uh, 30 seconds to Mars. It was great, it was in Cardiff. But it means I didn't get in until uh, half past midnight when I went to sleep, who knows? Garmin's telling me I got four and a half hours sleep because I had to be up at 5.40 to get out here to get this one done. So I'm not gonna talk too much now. I'm just gonna get my drills and strides done and roll straight into this. I haven't even got time to film that, to be honest with you. Uh, so we're just gonna roll straight into this. The next thing you'll see will be me starting this workout. We'll have a bit of a catch up properly later on the evening session. So for the moment, let's get into this five by two K. There we go, 721 for that first rep. Really good, really controlled. Felt like a moderate effort. Two done, headwind, tailwind, you know the drill by now, you've seen enough of these videos. That one was back up, so let's spin and do number three. There we go, 715 tailwind. Um, I think I just broke a carbon rod in my shoe. I have developed a click in the left shoe. I heard a pop and now it's clicking on every step. Hmm. Lovely, 721. One more to go, feeling really good. But this click is so annoying. There we go, 717, job done. Easy, I am really enjoying these morning sessions. I am keeping them very under control, feel really good. And honestly, low 550s has never, never felt so easy. If I think back, it feels like, like what a moderate effort um, is. So I honestly, so grateful over the moon to keep turning up to these ones. I get this one done, get home, because uh, you know the drill, I always run late in the morning, um, but I've got time for a good cool down and then uh, I'll see you later for the second session. And welcome to the evening session. Look, can we picked up. Way! It is, it is the man that you haven't seen on YouTube for a while. Uh, we're out doing a session. 10 by K is the evening session. Um, yeah, looking forward to this one. Felt really good this morning. I said I would give you a catch up because I was running out of time this morning. And tonight is no different. My timekeeping is poor. So I'm not in a rush, but I haven't got time to sit down and chat. The goal, uh, I think I ran this session four weeks ago and averaged around 327, 328 per K. So, I'd like to go a little bit quicker tonight. I feel like fitness has improved since week one. We'll see. Um, wearing the Adios Pro 3s again. Uh, see if the clicky rod makes any difference 
whatsoever. I don't think it will. Um, but yeah, I feel really good. And I've the reason I'm going for this shoe, I was just telling Matt actually, I'm really finding these to be a great double threshold shoe. I feel like the Light Strike Pro is such a good foam. And with the carbon rods, they're not as rigid as a plate. So I do feel more natural in the shoe. Um, plus the recovery benefits clearly. Uh, so yeah, we're out here in Lydney. Gonna get it done on the docks road. Matt is gonna show me where we start and finish because I have no idea where his normal K-Rep route is down here. So uh, yeah, let's get into this one. Right, here we go. Two mile warm up done at the base of the docks road. 10 by a K off 60 seconds. Matt has his lactate meter, which is awesome. So you're going to be checking your lactate and he's very kindly offered to let me test mine at the end, which would be great to see how I am at the end of the session. I've not done any of that before. So it'd be really interesting to see Project if I'm- this lactate in the comments yes. right now. Put a, put a comment down there. What do you reckon it's going to be? I'm thinking I'm going to overcook it and it's going to be about six, <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, let's get on with this. First one done, 327. I said to Matt, first one would be good between 325, 328. So spot on. Let's get going on this one. Hold on a minute, wasn't the wind in our face <laughs> on the other one? What's going on? Oh, the I see 321. It's getting quicker. Feeling good. Problem is, when I run with someone like this, it gets competitive. <laughs> what? <laughs> We go halfway, 321 that way, 318 back this way. Good, really happy so far. Five more. Three twenty down, three sixteen back up this way. That's seven done. It wasn't until those two reps, six and seven, that um, the heart rate really started creeping up. So, yeah, good. Three to go. Wonderful, one to go. So that was 319, 319. Really good, felt strong today. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> 321, what a run. So happy with that felt really good today, really good. 
That's the sweat one. That's right, I've, okay. we've got a new droplet. Cool. I was still reckoning it's going to be about six high. Those last four were tough. Yeah, 6.5. Put a comment down there, what do you reckon it's going to be? I'm thinking I'm going to overcook it and it's going to be about six. But <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, let's get on with this. Six or seven as well, probably. Oh, dear. Whoa, 4.3. So you can tell Matt's been doing that for a while. That was perfect for him. And for me, a learning curve. I was just saying to him then, um, I felt in the last four reps I kind of pushed and he said rather than let the pace fade you kind of kept the effort up and that's exactly what I did really and I went from late well, low 320s to late teens and I think that's kind of really what, what pushed me up and over but overall if I look at the session in general it was just yeah very happy with it so there we go a really solid evening session done um really interesting on the lactate i said at the beginning it's gonna be around six i just had a feeling um showed matt's class there obviously um to be able to hold it he knew the effort level he's been doing it a while so it definitely shows that i need to get myself this lactate meter i've got to stop guessing um this morning was so controlled and tonight i felt really good and i said out there um when you're running with someone especially someone like matt's caliber um it's great to i get a bit competitive i think we all do and it's great to have someone there we push a bit more and i i did notice on the sixth rep i did increase the effort level for sure so uh that was a lesson learned however to be honest with you the like the first three double thresholds i've done have been so controlled and i said this to him i felt so good it's so easy um you know and he was like well it doesn't hurt to push every now and again and to be honest with you i still felt really good tonight even though i pushed i still felt really good and to know those paces are there and to run like i did just really encouraging um so yeah a good end to a good day great to catch up with matt anyway because it's been a while and uh, a good end to a good uh, good day 21 ish miles or something um so we'll bank that one and uh, onwards to the saucony london 10k so there we go that's it for this one guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you did please do give it a like share it with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and i'll see you on the next one